This is Red Feather from Grepax. In this video, I am using Vocal Screen as my capturing device to show how to use Keyframeable to adjust volume control. Using Keyframeable to adjust volume portions can be quite tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it is a breeze and convenient. As you will notice, I started out trying to use the keyframeable function but it only brought up the gain operation. So it took some playing around to get the proper keyframeable function to come up. I am not sure if this is a bug within KDN Live or not. The way to work around this in KDN Live if this problem happens to you is to start out with some blank space or mumbo jumbo you do not need that you can delete later. Highlight the whole portion of the audio, click on the effects list, then click Audio Correction. Then drag audio key, the audio keyframeable into the audio track. Use the razor tool to cut the portion you're not going to use. Once, once you highlight this area, you will notice there is only the gain with no key, keyframeable functions. Then the other portion of the audio, now you should notice a full window appear with keyframeable functions. The position set is where your volume adjustment will start during the keyframeable use. So if you're going to have more than one adjustment, use your razor tool to make the cut. As you will notice, with the different keyframeable tones, or rather, rather volumes, using the gain, I have set some louder and some not so loud that could be used as background music.
I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and by all means, visit us at our website at httpgrepax.com. All comments are welcome, as well as questions. The intro and extra of this video was provided by Alex Abayu 1 from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. Have a nice day. I am out.